I'm Amber. Today's video is going to be short, quick, and simple uh, because I got to get out of this, out of these sweaty clothes. Um, I just went for a bike ride and there's no help in my hair and I just want to relax on my bed, turn on my candle, and watch The Good Witch. Um, I've been binging that lately. It's a little bit on, I don't know, it's like if Charmed met, I don't know why I want to say Teen Wolf because these are both like supernatural magical kind of shows and this one is much more based on like the real world and I don't even know if like she's actually a witch or just someone with like special like gifts and intuitions and all that um but uh I will compare it to Teen Wolf just because it just throws a lot at you and you're just like what is happening but like in a good way and in a modern way but then there's this undertone of magic so it's really interesting i just don't understand why certain things are happening um and why they have expl the explanations that they do but again story of my life if you've been watching my videos um but otherwise it's just kind of what i need right now i'm in like a super spooky vibe it's just like it's the spooky kind of months you know um those early halloween months before october like i'm just in the mood all right uh but anyway that's what i've been up to um today's video is going to focus on like other like sort of platforms that i'm on where you can follow me where you can see other things that i'm into or that i'm doing um, um i do have an etsy i do have um a tiktok and then I have a Poshmark where I um, am selling a lot of my old clothes and I kind of want to start like putting like thrifted finds that I find on there that are kind of cute um, that maybe are like it's just an idea right now but it's something that I definitely want to do um, that are different sizes and everything and like maybe put one or two depending on how it works um, I want to do maybe one or two a month and then hopefully it gets better from there people like it but I just want to put unique pieces out there I dress very unique um myself and so I know it's sometimes hard to find like really really unique pieces even though like you find cool stuff at thrift stores like really like those those gem gems you know um so I wanted to kind of be a place for that um also on my Etsy I don't have anyone buying my things yet which is fine you know it's a process you you live and you learn you figure things out you figure out what works and what doesn't and I like I'm a creative person I like to draw I like to like and I, I consider myself a good drawer I consider myself a pretty decent creative person but there are people out there who make so much more with their hands it's just like I feel sometimes like I'll never compare to that but it's okay like I still want to share my creativity with the world because I have so many things that make me up and um, that's one aspect of it I like drawing I like making sculptures I like uh, painting and stuff um, I'm probably a better drawer than I am a painter um, and then of course I do YouTube I write um, and I love reading there's just all things that make me up um, so that's me on Etsy I will use this um, section of the video to kind of touch on the fact that my friend also sells art on Etsy and she is phenomenal. She did, hold on, that one right there, that one right there, that one up there, hold on, that one, oh, oh, that one right there, not the Spider-Man one, the one above it, uh, and that one. Um, her art focuses on, like, this kind of, like, fantasy with lots of pretty colors, but at the same time, um, there's a lot of, like, Hispanic culture mixed into it. Just different, like, little things about our culture. I think that's so beautiful that she, um, incorporates in her drawings, and I, I think it's, it, it's beautiful. So I'm always, um, like, buying from her, and she's super awesome. I have her stickers on my water bottle um and she is this is her card she is under angie art things there we go not angie's art things angie art things uh and you can follow her on instagram under angie art underscore um and yeah she 
just makes the cutest little thing. She also made um, little tote bags. I have one and I'm going to be taking it to work every single day. I'm just admiring it. It's beautiful. Um, but I had to put that plug in there because support your friends and she is amazing. Um, TikTok, I post little videos there. Um, I, <laughs> I post a lot of videos on my stories on Instagram, but my Instagram is private. It's um, just for me and family and friends and my bangs are not okay. All right. Um, uh, so I was like, I should really get a TikTok and like put stuff on there because my friends are probably tired of seeing all my long videos and like me trying to act cool on there. I mean, I'm still going to do it, but it's like, I want somewhere else to do it. And then like, I also use it to promote like my other things. Um, so yeah, uh, you can follow me on TikTok. Let me get that link for you. My pop socket broke today. I am so sad. I'm getting another one. Okay. So TikTok is under a cast 15328. Um, so yeah my etsy is under optimistically real and my poshmark is under amber c so oh and then i also have a uh, instagram for my etsy and that is under it's underscore optimistically real underscore and that is also under amber c um and i just post new um stuff that i put on my etsy on there with prices and like ask questions i post stories about me working and just all that stuff um and so yeah uh another kind of selfless plug that i'm putting in um i have a book that i wrote back when i was 16 um i it's been a while since i I've, I've written it but i do find that some people have enjoyed it even though I desperately want to go back and re-edit some things, but I'm not going to bash on it. You know, it was a time in my life when I, I did it. My mom, she self-published it for me and it's out there in the world. And if you want to buy it and check it out, go ahead. So yeah, um, definitely hope to like publish, actually publish a book soon. Um, and some, poetry or something somewhere um but as of right now that's still in the process um and over these last couple of years it's kind of been just writing for school or for me or whatever the case but I'm I'm working on it but if you want to support and take a look at that um and have some fun with a super cheesy cutesy little romance novel um that probably has you raising your eyebrow at some twists and turns but still is super cute um I recommend it um so it is struggles of the heart by amber castellanos and uh there is another book by that name so please make sure that you search it under my name um and that can be found on amazon on barnesandnoble.com uh and calibris which is the publishing agency um company i mean that uh published it so yeah, uh, if you want me to make, I, I have a video that I did for class that's on here um, that talks about digital publishing. And if you want to watch that, there is a section where I kind of go into like how the self-publishing process was. <laughs> um, but if you want me to make a video just on that, then I will go ahead and do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, also, if you guys are wondering where you can reach me and ask those questions because my comments are off, um, I recommend just sending them to the Instagram that I just mentioned. I hope to just fix everything and, or even the TikTok, it's fine. Um, uh, I will post some TikToks on like my videos and stuff too. Um, I'm fixing some things out and everything and we're gonna figure out like what works best um but yeah uh i think that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and um i hope to see y'all real soon i'm gonna have a nice relaxing spooky night um and yeah all right bye